Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriel coming at you straight from Queens, New York, and today we are going to be talking about BLM and why it's wrong. So, one of the main problems that I see with Black Lives Matter and the organization and a lot of its members and the movement in general is that they report to try to be fighting against racism but the things that they are pushing for the changes in legislation that they want the changes in culture that they want the changes in society that they want the things that they do and say are doing nothing but perpetuating white supremacy not only that but they are also perpetuating bad behavior in the black community and in all minority communities to be exact um, there is countless examples of black lives matter and antifa rioters and organizers and protesters um, doing things on the streets in majority black neighborhoods that don't have a positive effect on that neighborhood destroying stores burning parking lots um, looting shooting etc what this inevitably will do is that it will make people who don't necessarily have a lot of exposure to the more central the more calm the more rational members of minority communities they're going to now see these radical radicals these extremists and they're going to say that those are representative of the larger community. So then what happens is that these people, usually white, um, who simply don't have access to interacting with normal uh, minority community members, see these extremists and these radicals, and they say, we don't want those people. We don't want to integrate with those people. We don't want to uh, to let those people come into power. Because look at what they're doing. Right? They're defending they're defending people who are wrestling with cops. They're defending people who are attacking cops. You know, and then those people end up getting shot or tased or otherwise restrained and put in jail. And then BLM and other and these other act movements are tr are defending those actions. This they want them to be free. There's even a chat. There's there, there's a there's a march of BLM activists where they're saying that who they want to protect is black criminals, and they say black criminals specifically, which is absurd, absurd. So. BLM is a failed organization by its own metric. The goals listed are utopian but authoritarian, right? It's, and I've gone over the Black Lives Matter page. I've gone through about their about section and all that and stuff. I know exactly what their stated goals are. I've read them. I've made videos on them. So, the problem is, is that this racially driven group is never going to be able to end racism. Because you can't end racism by implementing racists actions and rhetoric if you want to end racism you can't be racist 
and Black Lives Matter is racist. So no, there's no debating that. It is purely a racist movement. So the counter the counter movement to BLM will also be racist except that it won't be a new movement it's just gonna be more white supremacy more racists you see so and if you don't believe about what BLM has been doing on the streets just look it up there are videos upon videos dozens of videos with people wearing a bunch of BLM gear flying the BLM flag you have the leaders themselves excusing looting calling it reparations you have the leaders themselves calling themselves trained Marxists you have the leaders themselves saying that they're not going to shed a tear for anybody for any fascist that has died today in relation to an innocent person that got killed for being a Trump supporter so no BLM is not what everybody thinks it is the phrase itself black lives matter is a factual phrase a factual statement black lives do in fact matter same as white lives matter same as latino lives matter asian lives matter all lives matter these are all factual statements of truth but the organization which has headquarters in canada europe and america and its leaders and the followers of these leaders they're not for equality they're not for an end to racism they are authoritarians who are seeking to take control of the means of production of the means of social liberty of the means of, of political discourse it'll be interesting to see just how now that they have a supporter in office right how little how little outrage there will be at uh, the incoming police brutality of the next couple years how little media attention these things will be getting you know so Black Lives Matters is wrong they claim one thing but are doing the exact opposite they're claiming to try to end racism they are perpetuating racism they're claiming to help black families they are breaking apart black families <sighs> there isn't anything that has come that I can there isn't a single example of a, of a maybe there's like one maybe one or two examples of a positive influence that Black Lives Matter has had on a black community right like directly you know which communities maybe there's one or two I know there's one for sure which communities out here can say that ever since the Black Lives Matter chapter in our neighborhood got started our streets have been cleaner our schools have been getting more funding everything has been getting better that doesn't happen those stories are non-existent aside for the one that I'm thinking of and there's maybe like two more maybe so one through three at most yet if you look at their act blue donation page you see they're getting millions and millions I think billions of dollars worldwide where is that money going it's not going to black communities it's not going to black education it's not it's, it's simply not I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.